channel must never be considered a substitute for advice provided by a doctor. Welcome back to my channel, ladies. Uh, Mommy's to be. Uh, today's video will gonna be about um, a first trimester overview. So, of course, uh, since we're here, uh, our pregnancy has been confirmed by the doctor. Um, we've been through a bit of a roller coaster for the last two, couple to three uh, months or so, uh, which means first trimester. Okay, now let's see what was going on. <laughs> did you wake up? Did, did did you have time to let it soak in? Did, do you realize what is happening? What is happening inside of you in there? Hmm? I'm going to start first. Um, and I'm going to start with the food aversions uh, and uh, smell aversions. Why? Because uh, this happened even before I knew I'm pregnant. So I had these symptoms, these aversions. Um, and whenever the pregnancy got confirmed, I don't know, for some reason, it got even worse. What I'm saying by that, um, I'm saying that I couldn't have any of the protein intake that I used to have before. So, um, as I am, okay, used to be a sports person <laughs> before the little one, um, my diet was quite uh, proteic. Of course, I used to alkalinize it with a um, uh, loads of uh, veggies, loads of greens, uh, chloraline spirulina in terms of uh, supplements. So uh, water, like al alkaline water, uh, so not too much uh, of a worry in, in terms of that, okay? Don't worry, I was all right. But apparently the baby knew that um, I, I'm having a lot of protein, so uh, there is no need for you, mommy, to have uh, at least for a couple of months or so. So unfortunately, I couldn't have any of my uh, meat, uh, fish, okay, I was fine with not having too much of the fish anyway, uh, because I knew uh, the reasons behind, uh, but also eggs, I couldn't have, even the smell of it, um, the smell of the eggs, the smell of the meat, um, cooked or uncooked, doesn't matter, I just couldn't take it, I couldn't bear it. And also, I want to underline the fact that the, the whole meat that I'm having is pasteurized, okay? So it's from a trusted source, it's not just bought, because I thought of that as well. Okay, if it would have been bought, maybe it's because of the whatever additional stuff has in. But no, it wasn't the case, so I can't put the blame on that. What I could have, though, it was what I didn't eat for, I don't know, the last 20 years or so, and uh, that would be... Hang on, pretzels, yep, uh, pretzels with poppy seeds, yeah, uh, pretzels with poppy seeds and uh, like yogurt, sort of, um, and another sexy combo that I had, it was um, the pickled cabbage with avocado, don't ask me, I know, uh, maybe because of the texture of the avocado that was quite uh, nice and smooth and uh, the taste was quite sweetish um, and on the other side the crunchiness of the cabbage <laughs> and the uh, sourness as well they just got very well uh, together okay um, I finished quite quick with the uh, avocado and cabbage combination um, only took me a couple of uh, weeks uh, but the thing with the yogurt and pretzels, unfortunately, it didn't let me go for, I don't know, two months or so. So, yeah, uh, I had baked rolls and pretzels uh, and yogurt. Uh, I don't know, the most that I had in my last um, 20 years. Okay, uh, what else was in there? I could have some um, cheese and uh, tomatoes. I could always have my greens, appreciate that, yeah, thank you for that. Always I had, uh, I was able to have a green salad, um, uh, cucumbers, um, broccolis, um, asparagus, uh, spinach, so my greens was were fine, I could, uh, uh, I could have them. Uh, of course, loads of lemon in there, 
just to be sure I'm, I'm mentioning that. Um, I was uh, reminding uh, in uh, another episode when uh, it was about the symptoms uh, that I couldn't have any coffee. That was one of the symptoms that got me on uh, <laughs> on thoughts like, okay, why why coffee? I mean, uh, and yeah, I couldn't have any of the of the coffee. Unfortunately, I, I'm still not able to have any coffee at all. Um, but frankly said, I don't need the coffee, the caffeine, okay? So I'm fine with my uh, energy levels and all that. It wasn't to be able to wake up or so, even before the pregnancy. So um, I was all right with that and I am all right with that. It, it was just like a habit to me, okay? And now I'm having tea, so that's such a big of a deal. I mean, in terms of food, uh, I couldn't have um, onions and I cannot have any onions or garlic or food dishes that contain those, unfortunately. Um, what else? In terms of um, general sickness, I can't call it morning sickness because I wasn't like other mummies um, just throwing up in the morning and then the, the whole day all right or totally opposite to just to be right in the morning and the whole day then sick and whatever um i never threw up to say uh, but i had this sort of uh, sickness mood the whole day unfortunately and it was quite difficult for me to find something to eat um so i cannot feel hungry in the very next five minutes after i was eating uh, that was quite tough uh, for the first couple of months. Um, what else? Okay, fragrances, ladies. I don't know you, but me. I never thought that a uh, good girl from uh, Herrera, yeah, <laughs> would give me this feeling. I, <laughs> I love that fragrance. But unfortunately, I can't use it. Uh, opium either. So there are a few of uh, my favorites that I can't literally put them on because I feel sick from them. Um, even the uh, room fragrances that, uh, again, I can't take those either. Um, what else? Uh, the uh, deodorants, again. Um, even my partner, unfortunately, and my husband, um, bless him. Uh, I had to take uh, some fragrances off of him. Uh, because uh, he was forgetting and he was just using them. Uh, I can't stand next to you because of your smell. And on, on one side, honestly, I was feeling so bad to tell him that. But on the other side, it wasn't me. It's not me. Yeah, so just blame him. Him, because he, it's a little boy. It's Andrew here, okay? Anyway, all in one, after the first two couple of months, two to three weeks, uh, not when the baby was moving, because all the mummies uh, were telling me, don't you worry, Nikki, you're going to get uh, back to normal once the baby is moving and all that. I can't really say that, but I was happy that uh, after two months or so, I was able to introduce step by step a bit of a, um, a protein. Uh, not everything, and again, um, it cannot be marinated. So just as I used to eat before as well, like very simple, uh, just plain meat okay on the grill now i'm having some eggs as well like omelets but i can't have only the egg white so before i used to have an omelet like five eggs omelet but just five egg whites and one yolk now i can't have as many uh, whites unfortunately i feel that that is a bit too much so now i'm, I'm putting like three egg whites with a couple of yolks and that's good to me it's good with a bit of mushrooms in there, parsley, all good. I'm having fish uh, here and there, so not too, not too often. Uh, I know about the mercury and all that, so don't you worry, ladies. If you don't know, let me know uh, into a comment down below, and we're going to cover that as well. When it comes to fish, what sort of fish, how often, and so on, or why you can't have. Uh, okay? And uh, so after this couple of months or so, I was able to reintroduce some of my food. And uh, I can say now in the seventh month, um, I'm almost back to normal, apart from the onions, uh, garlic and coffee. Yeah, I'm still having aversions to this. Uh, when it comes to fragrances, 
the same. I'm still having a, a bit of a retention in there. I can't. I can't have. <laughs> I can't have too many uh, sortiments in there. Uh, but I'm trying my best not to cry over it. But at the same time, as promised in here, ladies, I'm trying to be honest to give my honest opinion because I know so many of you that wanted to know uh, how would I react uh, within a pregnancy. Um, most of my uh, clients, ladies clients, uh, the ones that uh, of course got the pregnancy with me as a personal trainer. Uh, so here I am all <laughs> nice and honest uh, about my pregnancy uh, and I'm expecting from you the same ladies. So just let me know uh, your first trimester overview. I hope it wasn't all just about sickness, yeah? Uh, I hope you had a good moment as well. And trust me, everything will pass. So don't you worry, ladies. You're good, yeah? You, it's just a phase, okay? And the second trimester is better. Third trimester, it's, let's say, a combination, okay? But second trimester is the best, so don't you worry. The sun will rise up onto your streets again, okay?